Let's take a look at natural language processing, also known as NLP. And in machine learning, it's a technique that can understand the context of a corpus. A corpus is a body of related text, the text that you are working with. And NLP intersects with computer science and linguistics. So if you uh, know a lot about the, the nature of uh, spoken and written language, then uh, computer science here is going to meet in the middle here so that we can um, make sense of it using algorithms. So NLP enables us to do things like analyze and interpret text within documents, emails, and messages, interpret or contextualize spoken text, like sentiment analysis, synthesize speech, uh, such as using a voice assistant talking to you, automatically translate spoken or written phrases and sentences between languages, in, uh, interpret spoken or written commands and determine appropriate actions. Another thing you'll hear a lot is language understanding, which is supposed to be, it's, a, it's more like a specialized subset of NLP um, uh, that just goes farther to understand uh, more traditional older ways of doing NLP. But uh, anyway, what I'll do is we'll just take a look at this um, very simple flowchart to give you some idea of things that are related with an NLP. This is mostly just get you exposed to some terms. It's not important to remember what these are, and I can't even describe them off the top of my head. Um, but again, just get you exposure to NLP terms so that when you see them later, you'll go look them up and be like, oh, I remember seeing that term here. So here we have like text wrangling, pre-processing, language understanding, so structure and syntax, processing functionality, which is what the NLP uh, does for you in the end. But text, text wrangling or pre-processing is where you are preparing uh, text to be uh, put into possibly um, a machine learning model, or maybe you're using it for um, some kind of analysis or something like that. And so this is basically taking text and um, formatting it, changing it. And so what could we be doing here? Well, we could be doing conversions. Maybe we're lowercasing things. Maybe we're uppercasing things. Um, maybe we're turning contractions into their full forms or vice versa. Sanitation, this is where you are maybe stripping out HTML or special characters, or you are removing stop words when uh, you have stop words later on in your ML models. Tokenization, which is converting um, the text into uh, vector embeddings. We have stemming, okay? We have uh, lemonization. So there's a lot of things here, but you can see it's mostly just like formatting the text to be utilized for something else. We have language understanding. So these are processes to make sense of the text. So part of speech tagging. So is this an adjective? Is this a noun? Things like that. Chunking. How can we uh, break up the text and then work with those chunks later on down the road so that it still makes sense? Dependency parsing. So, you know, which word relies on other words and what relationships do they have to other ones? Uh, constituents, uh, constituents uh, parsing. Very hard for word for me to say, but like imagine a... Um, a, a traff green, a traff green. And, and so like, you know, a noun has an adjective under it, which has another thing under it. If you look up, if you look it up and go to Google Images, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then we have processing functionality. What are we using NLP for? So we have name entity recognition. This is where you have a body of text and it's highlighting uh, important words, like maybe important nouns that it thinks you, you care about or things like that, or personally identifiable information. We've got engrams, sentiment analysis. Is this text positive, negative, happy, sad? Information extraction, what are we trying to get out of a large body of text? Yeah, um, same thing with information retrieval. Questioning and answering, topic modeling. So, you know, again, not super important to know these in depth right now, but the things that are important, we will see these terms again, um, and you'll know what they are then. So don't worry about trying to memorize this now, but just get that exposure to NLP terms, okay?